Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. CLEP. These are the mods for Friday the 22nd of July. I didn't get a chance to do the mod review yesterday. I'm trying to do it today and fit it in. I'm also watching the live stream of FarmCon, uh, the live on Twitch in German and English, I think. Uh, there's a whole load of links on Discord uh, and on the website so you can go on and watch that if you want to uh, we had a load of, a load of mods and we have, I mean a load of mods and we've got quite a few updates as well uh, the map whole Mercury 22 by pixel farm and Oscar 8599 had an update the Fent challenger crawler pack by RLSF Oli the Massey Ferguson 8s by KRKZ modding the case Puma 240 CVX power drive by Steve's mods the Gavanland Accord DL pack by Arek. The transport platform 4000H by Adub modding ABP team featuring black sheep modding, I think, BSM. The silo system package by Castor DS Agra service. The small manure heat pack by Smetty. And the flower modernized by Adub modding ABP team. I hope I did that in the right order because I'm going to put them onto a a separate slide. Uh, in front of me I have got the Water Tower by LM Modding. 1.66 megabytes download, two slots each, they're 5,000 each. You find them under build mode and containers. I have a problem, I can't get them to work. It does say in the description for these, two towers for you to collect your water for your animals or simply decorate your beautiful farm. I'm wondering whether or not the triggers are missing. You find them under build mode, as I said, under container, out on the end, five grand each and yeah you're supposed to be able to supply water i've tried with this water tanker i've tried with that water tanker i can't get the triggers to come up and then i've gone over to the binding thing silo and the triggers and the tankers are working perfectly so i can only assume turn that on there's a problem because if i go up to it, it doesn't say start filling um these particular tankers don't open or anything like that the other one does i opened and closed it and i can't get the triggers to work um, maybe they'll get an update we'll see the water tower by LM modding next we have got the British farmhouse this is by MS modding 2.45 megabytes download four slots on console build mode and farmhouses is where you'll find it and it's 45,000 unless you have to have the landscaping done we have wardrobe trigger just here and we have our sleep trigger just there Nicely detailed, old stone British farmhouse. You can't go inside it, but there you go. That's by MS Modding. Next, we have got the Modern Metal Shed Pack. This is by JJ at Northwest Mods and Edits. It's 14.54 megabytes download. The slot counts on these are eight for this one. That one over the back there is five slots. That one's five slots, that one's six slots. We'll have a look at them in build mode first. So if we go to our sheds and out to the end. So the first one we're going to look at is the 200,000 to buy. Three garage doors across the front. This has got a workshop and stuff in it as well. Really, really nice. Workshop trigger. It's got a lift and all sorts of stuff. The next one's 100,000 to buy. Uh, that's got uh, two doors, one front, one rear. And then we've got the 50,000 and the 75,000 single door. I think it's double door front and rear and then that one's the double door on the front it'll make more sense as we, as we go around but those are the prices those are the slot counts as i said detailing's very nice i do like the fact there's loads of icons inside now the thing with this you can't open the doors from the outside which generally speaking a lot of these buildings you can't you're supposed to go into the side door and then all your triggers for your doors are all here so we can open and close the doors we've got triggers for our lighting so we have got exterior lights and interior lights so we turn those on and those on so our exterior lights are now on you can just see the haze there through the light beam and inside so there's your light switch triggers um, over here now it does say you can change the uh, the paint style so you can select the trim color you can have black or white i mean those are the two options go to white and come back out You'll see all the outside trim and inside trimmers will change to white so you can change that as well as you want to and over here we've got a lift now these don't always work brilliantly sometimes they'll go up fine but coming down they might leave the vehicle in the air and then sometimes you get a bit of a drop but working lift and around the back here we've got a workshop trigger 
just there. And the workshop area is the central bit there. That's really nice. I, I really like the detail. I'm amazed at the slot counts as well on these. Even the download, 14.54 for the entire pack. Um, so this one again, side door to go in. You can't open it from the outside. But then you've got your trigger here. Really nice animation. Those are some big hydraulic rams on there. Absolutely massive. Again, light switches for interior and exterior. And then we go all the way through on this one. We can change the trim as well on this one. More light switches this end. And then a big door out at the other end here. Very cool. Actually, it's just half and half. I'm just looking at that, actually. Saying that. Turn on exterior. Turn on interior. Yeah. So, actually, it's split. So, you can have half the lights on. or say half. Three-fifths and two-fifths is the split on that. And then come out of here. And then we've got the other two. Same options. Oh, no, it hasn't got a door on the other side. Single door at the front. Same options. Door. Lights change the trim if you want to and then this one coming from the side there again not drive through double door same thing with lights trim etc but really i mean the detailing on all of the all of the actual hinges and everything really nice mods very cool indeed uh, so that's the british metal uh, the british the modern metal shed pack by jj at northwest mods and edits next we have got is it behind this where did i put it Yes, behind it, we've got the Estancia Lapacho Barn. This is by Farmer5. Tom brought over from the original Estancia Lapacho. 12.26 megabytes download, 17 slots on console. You find it under build mode and sheds, and it's 48,900. It does say in the description what, what Farmer5 Tom liked about this was it was kind of, it was used, but it was quite battered and old and sort of semi-derelict, but still in use. And you can see that when you go around, like you've got holes in the roof and stuff like that. It, it's really nicely done. One thing it does say in the description for this, though, which I was confused about, it says gates can be recoloured. I haven't found an option to do that. I've been all the way around. You can open the rolling gates. Um, I haven't found a trigger anywhere to recolour them. And if we go into here and look at just there, um, th there's no option under there for a, a coloured option. So I'm not sure... Maybe that's a PC only function. I just I can't find it in all honesty. Um, I think the lights are also automatic because I can't find a light switch. But again, if you've watched any of my mod reviews, you'll know I'm a nightmare for finding them. There's not one that that comes up automatically like when you're walking around. But there you go. Really nicely detailed. Nice mod. Another one. Great detail. That's the Estancia Lapacho Barn by Farmer 5 Tom. Next, we've got liquid manure tanks. These are buy points for liquid manure. What I will do is just jump in the tractor so we can see them from a bit of an angle. There we go. Actually, I probably could have done it. Let's jump out of there. Could have done it for this menu, couldn't I? There we go. So, we've got a rectangular one and a circular one. These are buy points, uh, but you do find them rather under um, production. They're under silos. These two here, 15,000. And that one is... Oh, they're both five slots. Both five slots, 15,000, 18,000 to buy. Um, and they're just purchase points for... I think it's just slurry. We I mean, might do digest that as well. Let's have a quick check. Start filling. Yep, just slurry. So slurry store. I'm curious to see how much it's going to cost. These are 2.97 megabytes download. They're by, I always say Kobe, it's KO3Y. I think it's Kobe. So not too expensive. They don't take up a huge amount of room either. They're not massive. I don't think it's going to charge us very much at all, actually. Looking at the money going down top right. 15,000 litres for 643. So, yeah, in all honesty, that's pretty cool engine running turn off. so that's the liquid manure tanks buy points by kobe next we have got this this is the gorink bale fork twin this is 3.14 megabytes download two slots on console it's by bd modding uh, you'll find it under bale loaders under the bale loading equipment uh, i'm not going to go into there because 
there's no options on this you get it just like this it's 800 to buy um, but it does have a tension strap which I really like so when you get bales on there often with these bale forks the bales can jostle around they don't always stay on so having a bale uh, uh, strap on there is fantastic uh, we can raise and lower automatically like so or we can do it manually and we've got tilt as well and then we've got the strap on there as well which I think like I say for, for a, a bale fork like this especially for round bales absolute godsend drop it down to the ground get the angle you want back up to your bales on you go and the good thing with this as well you put one on you can put the strap on then you can move around and then put the second one on because often as you're trying to maneuver to get a second one on sometimes the first one will move or fall off so very cool like that that's the uh, Gorenk Bale Fork Twin by BD Modding next we have got the chisel plow this also has no options you get it just like this uh, but this you'll find under subsoilers so this is the chisel plow 1.59 megabytes download two slots on console uh, by michael 6920 it's 2.5 meters wide and will cost you 5000 so 2.5 meter wide so it's a subsoiler you'll get the plowed state so if you need to plow a field but it will give you a cultivated look because it's got a roller on the back start it up drop it down 2.5 meters of plowing with a cultivated finish obviously that will pull up if you're plowing subsoiling that's going to pull up some large stones with it if you've got stones turned on if you haven't that's fine you can turn them off uh, so that's the so that's how much it was to buy which is a plow yeah five thousand yeah uh that's by michael 69 20. next it's a great day to be alive people FarmCon is on, they're streaming live, and we've got a three meter cultivator. Good times. This is the Agramash APN30 by Karas and Arek. 5.6 megabytes download, four slots on console, three meters wide. You will find this, I will show this because it has got some options. And the cultivators, that's not cultivators, that is 14,000 to buy. Slot count will come down to one. 140 horsepower required. We can change the main colours to any one of these. So we have got Agramash red, bright red, or an intense red. And then under design, we've got Agramash green, a bright green, or a lime green. The bright is a bit bright. The lime green, I think I went for. I quite like that, but um, those are the options on that. Three metre wide cultivator, drop it down. And this will bring up light stones, I think, because it's not ploughing, but it's not a shallow cultivator. So this would bring up your sort of smaller stones. Very nicely detailed, nice mod, three meter wide cultivator. Uh, that's by Karas and Arek. Next, we've got this. This is the Farmtech Minifex 500. This is by Wolf X Modding. It's 2.94 megabytes download, six slots on console. It's got a six meter spread. Now, this is interesting in that it's a 5,000 liter capacity up to that first section. That large section on there only adds another 500 litres. I thought it would have been more. Just looking at the capacity, you think that the, the numbers might be off a little bit. It's nicely detailed, nicely made, does the job. you find it under manure spreaders. No, I'm going to go back to there. Um, there we go. That one in, second in from the end. 17 grand, 60 horsepower required. Slot count will come down to one. Like I said, so like that, that's 5,000 litres. And with the extension, which is kind of another two thirds on top, only has 500 litres. But that's what you get. We've got option of Trelleborg with those tyre options. We've got Vagerstein with just that one. BKT with... That's interesting. Didn't really change anything. Uh, Michelin, back to Trelleborg. Then we've got a 2013 logo. Or the 2002 logo, depending on which one you would go for. Main colour, any one of those. Does the framework. Design colour, does the rest. Go for a light green, well, any one of those. Rim colour, I went for the silver, but anyone on that palette. And those are your options. So, start it up. This will double uh, apply, so if you want to activate double applications, you can. It doesn't have to open, it's already open at the back anyway. Turn on. And away we go. I did just say this was. Did it say it was six metre? I'm not sure. Is that six metres? Oh, it is. I do like the animation on that on the back. That's really cool. Turn it off. So there we go. That's the uh, Farmtech Minifex 
500 by Wolfex Modding. Next, we have this on the front. Not the rest of the machinery, that's just the, the peripheral. We need that. But this on the front, this is the Livid, livid the Lizard FH15 Plus series. This is by Squad CS. It's 12.19 megabytes download, 20 slots on console. It's a 15 meter wide silage header for doing corn silage. 15 meters. Now we have got tool height, tool height control for headers. You can get that mod and you can speed through your stuff. But if you want to stay at a regular speed, um, but a much wider header, this is the one to go for. It does also have a silage additive option on there. So you can improve or increase on the amount of silage you've got going in. I'm sure it said that on there. So I know often the forage harvesters have it, but I'll just double check that. I thought I'd read it somewhere. Yeah, integrated silage additive tank. So if we go and look at it first, you'll find it under forage harvester headers. On the end, they're 120 grand. It requires 750 horsepower, um, but you'd have a class attacher, a crone attacher, Fent, New Holland, John Deere, back again. Uh, but then capacity you've got standard and then you've got unrealistic capacity, which gives you a 200 litres. Uh, so that will add you some silage additive on there if you want to have silage additive in there too. So I guess what we want to do is let's see this work. 15 metres silage. I mean, not the others are horrendous, but 15, that's pretty cool. Nice animation on the unfold. going to get you through side harvesting at a nice old pace isn't it look at it go <laughs> love it the longer the header the harder it is to keep track of but nice animation as well going into the throat very cool indeed making very light work of it. Back it up. You can go to the last bits. Very cool. The Lizard FH15 Plus Series by Squad CS. Moving on from there. We have this, the Crosetto NL Pack by RL Modding, 8.57 megabytes download. We've got the NL28 and the NL40, both of which are four slots for the first one. These are Big old beasties. This is the NL40 in the large capacity. That's a 66,000 litre trailer. Four axle. Now the options on both of these are the same, so I'll show you on one of them. Uh, but if we go into here and we go up to our trailers. So the NL28 and the NL40, like I said, both four slots. That one's 40 grand, that's 50 grand. The only difference is the capacity. This one's 24,000 or 46,000. And that one's a triple axle. This one's four axle. This one's 47,000 or 66, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it takes pretty much everything. If we go back out again, yeah, pretty much everything. Sometimes with the larger capacities, you only get a silage trailer, but no, in this case, it will do everything. Uh, wheel brand, we've got Michelin, Trelleborg. Those are the two options. Now on this one, you don't have any tire options within, but on this one, under those, you do. So under Michelin, you've got a wide and a standard on this one, you've got a wide and a standard. But on the large one, you don't have any tyre options, just the ones that come with it. Uh, so then we've got Design 1. Now this is the decals, I think. Design 1, 2, 3, 4, back to 1. Main colour option, anyone on that palette. Design colour, anyone on that palette. That's for... Oh, is that for the sides? Hang on. Yeah, so the, the uh, attachment points... On there, if we change that design colour now, you'll see them a little bit better. Let's go to blue, changes those bits. Rim colour, we've got a white, we've got a grey, or we've got a black. Licence plate option on there as well. Now, this is a fairly small tractor, and as you can see, it's leaning back quite a lot. There's a lot of weight on that, 66,000 litres of sugar beet cut. Uh, the front we do have, if you're doing silage harvesting, you can raise and lower that flap at the front, which helps the nozzle to shoot stuff in there. 
close that right up. We can do grain door or back. If we do uh, tip side grain door, we'll do that to unload. Tip side back. Now it's interesting, it looked like on tip side grain door it was lifting, but if you do regular it doesn't. Let me just double check that again. Yeah, so if you do it on grain door, the whole thing tips. If you do it on regular unload, it doesn't. So, just something to be aware of. That's it. That's the Crosetto NL pack by RL Modding. Next, we move on to this. There's quite a lot in here. Uh, this is the IT Runner pack. 2433 HD and 2633 HD. 22.39 megabytes download. This is by Agrotonio. So, uh, best way of doing this. So, the 2433 is the two axle, the 2633 is the three axle, you get those in the pack. Those are both three slots, we've got some options on those. And then when we go around, we've got a skip container, we've got um, the Bergman, which is basically a forage container, it's a container, grain container. Con why am I saying container? Container. We've got a wood back, we've got a slurry back, we've got an animal, well that does water, uh, water, milk, liquid fertilizer and herbicide uh, we've got a feed mixer back on that which has to have a counter as well you can see how much is in it we've got a manure spreader and we've got a fertilizer and lime spreader as part of this pack uh, we'll have a look at all those in just a moment because there's quite a lot of actually we'll go through all of them now we might as well because i can talk about the slot counts as we go round so if we go into here and we go back to trailers so we start there with the 2633 then 2433 so i've already said um those are three slots each the options on these are exactly the same so I'll show you on the 2433. We've got the option of Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Registein, back again. Trelleborg, standard, design two. Michelin, standard, design two. BKT, just that. Registein, standard, design two. Back again. We can change the main color, which I think does the chassis framework. Design color, does your mud guards. Rim color, does your rim color. And the license plate option as well. So that's the first. We move on to the skips. Now, depending on whether you've got the 2433 or the 2633, is whether you need the short or the standard or the long. Let's say short and the long. So if you've got the small one, you need the short one. If you've got the longer one, you need the longer one. You can still put the shorter ones onto the longer one. They're just, they're just yeah, shorter. I mean, at the end of the day. Options are the same on these. So the skip backs are one slot each. Like I say options are the same. Main colour, that's the only option on that one. Then we go to the Bergman, which are basically forage backs on these. Uh, the forage backs Bergman, they're three slots each. Difference, obviously, is going to be capacity on those as well. Sorry, I should have said really. That's 14,000 litres, that's 18 on the skips. Uh, so this one is 34,000 litres. That one is 48,000 litres. Again, options. You get the Bergman, that's it. Uh, and the licence plate on there. Then we've got the grain containers. Uh, that one's 35,000 litres, that one's 45,000 litres. Options on that, colour choice and licence plate. We're going to have a look at them all, I say operating, the ones that do operate. The ones that are grain backs, I'm not going to show them unloading, they've got an unload function. I mean, most of them do. I know I did in the Crosetto, but I've got a lot of these to get through. Uh, we then go from there to forestry, out to the end. So we've got the short wood container, the long wood container. 4,500, 7,500 options are the same on both. So we've got a standard design, side one, side two, side, or oh, sorry, side two, rear one, rear two, side one and rear one, side one and rear two, side two and rear one, side two and rear two, side one, side two, side one, side two and rear one. So you can have it almost like a cage, you can cage everything. So there's a whole lot of options there on how you have all those set up. Main colour, and design colour, like that. Those are your options on the wood container. Uh, then we move to the slurry. That's, if I can pass that, slurry tanks. Out to the end. So we've got the short slurry container and the slurry container. 10,000 litres, 15,000 litres. I think I went for the short one on this. Uh, these do have a spread width as well of 12 metres. So they're not just a container, they are a slurry spreader. Uh, options on these, main colour. You can go for a chrome if you want to go for a really shiny chrome on that. Or another corruption. 
is the type 2 and you've got the slurry spreading part on the back uh, then we go from slurry to oh yeah animals so the liquid backs the mk is 8 the mk is 18 8000 liters 18000 liters again options the same on both changes the color of the tank and license plate option uh, I'm going to do the RA142, that's the feed mixer, that's next to that as well, also under animals, that's 11,900 litres, that is three slots, these were three slots each as well, licence play option on that, and then we go to, it was manure, uh, out at the very end, the Fortis 2000, that is Four slots, 15 meter spread, 170 horsepower required, 32,000 litres, no options, just a licence plate. And then finally, we go to our fertiliser spreaders, out on the end, the Amazon ZGTS 10,001 truck. 21 grand to buy, 42 meter spread, uh, that's 10,000 litres, standard. Now I've got it lime, because I'm not sure whether it will do 10,000, uh, whether it will do 42 metres on lime, potentially. Now, those ones, you've got the skip, the forage, the container and the wood, they unload. I mean, they're unloading trailers. The ones I'm curious to, to look at, and obviously using this, we can fold or unfold, extend or retract the arm. Then we attach, load the container. I'm going to just go across the field with this. So this is the slurry one. Let's say this was 12 metres, did it? We can double applicate, turn on the slurry spreader, there we go. Fantastic. Uh, then we'll go with the manure spreader and then I'm just very conscious of time, we've still got quite a few bits to do here. Uh, let's drop off the container. Attach. What I will do is I'll hook up the um, feed mixer. Once you've done your mix in there, as you do with any other feed mixers, whether it's towed or self-propelled, you do your mix. Depending on whether you're using bales or loose mixture, and depends on the size of the bales, will depend on what mix you do. Let's hook that one up. Get that loading. We'll do this one next, and I'll come back and do the other one since I already had the small one attached so this should do 42 meters it says 42 i've got lime in here we can adjust adjust that width down from 42 to 36 30 21 18 15 back to 42 let's give it a go that's doing 42 meters at lime that's nice cover open like so Let's grab the muck spreader and we'll do that as well. Just disconnect that there. <laughs> Not the tub thing. <laughs> Don't drive into your farmyard and just disconnect like that on the way. You would have to disconnect all your hoses and things as well. Uh, that's one thing I really do think I, I would love to see on, on console. I know it's probably it's a scripted thing, it's one of those things we probably will never get. Um, why are we not? There we go, load container. Um, it's manual, manual attach. I would love to have the manual attach, just to add that immersion. You know, you go around and you have to hook everything. You know, I just think that would be brilliant. So, this one needs to be opened, I believe. Unfold when you're a spreader. We can double apply on this as well. Activate double application if you want to do all your fertilizer in one go. And there we go. 15 meter spreading our manure. I know that was a that was a whistle stop through all of those. Uh, I know there's probably other bits and bobs you'd like to see on that. Um, but like I say, the, the, the trailers unload like a trailer, pretty much like this one did. Um, the this one here opens the back opens that way. It's not a door one. Some of the containers we get on the IT runner packs, the doors swing open. That one's not. Uh, this does have straps, as you can see. Uh, the water tanker, like I said, that will do water, milk, liquid fertilizer, or herbicide. And then this one 
unloads from this side here with your 11,900 litres of top mix rationing as well. There you go. So that's the IT runner pack by Agro Tonio. Next, we have got the AW362 rigged. This is by Adams Kong. 27.87 megabytes download, 14 slot seats. These are really nice. The cab overs, the original cab overs that we got that came out. A load of people messaged me and said, it's been removed. It's not, it always, it stays in the mod hub. So these are cab overs. They're very, very nice mods. I do like these. You'll find them under vehicles, under trucks. And we've got two of each. So that one does say dog engine. So you've got the cat and you've got the diesel. Um, so difference in horsepowers, the diesel goes up to a 430 horsepower, the cat goes up to a 581. That's the same on both of these. So you can either have on all of them. So you've got the um, closed trailer, you've got the logger, and then you've got the flatbed for carrying anything you want. But the flatbed does go down so you can use it as a transporter of vehicles and stuff, which is absolutely brilliant. The slot counts on all of these are 14. doesn't matter which one you go for. So I'll show you the options on one of them. So this is all bumper. I'll skip through these quite quickly. We've got design one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, nine, back to one, not ten. Uh, then sun visor, design one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, back to one. Engine on this, we've got 425 horsepower, 581. It's only two grand to get to 581, which is brilliant. Wheel set up, we've got standard, or you can have the extra front wheel there for a bit of uh, extra weight distribution. Main colour does the cab. Design colour does, I think it's the chassis. Yep. Next design colour does the mudguards, wheel arches. Uh, design colour does the back. Rim colour does the rim colour and licence plate option two. We'll see that working and unfolding in a minute. Why did it just come out there? Uh, then we go to the log back. Bumpers and sun visor are exactly the same. Engine speed 330, 375, 400, 430. So if you go for the diesel, 430 horsepower is the highest you're going to go. We'll set up the same stand or standard two. And then I think it's pretty much the same with the colours as well. Uh, main colour does the cab, design colour, chassis, design colour next one on this one. Touch your mud guards, yeah, rim colour, yeah, pretty much the same. And then we go to the last ones, the flatbed, design one, same thing, bumpers, sun visors, engine, 425, or it depends which one you go for, but this one being the, the cat, the, sorry, the dog engine, um, 425 or 581. Uh, main colour, design colour, actually, no, this one, design colour, does the sides of the flatbed. Mudguards, chassis, rim colour, yeah. So the actual flatbed itself stays black, but you can change the sides of it on the first of the design colour options. So, let's hop in, start this one up. It's quite loud. Horn. That's a proper horn. <laughs> it does have a bit of wobble. And I like, I kind of, not that you're going to be shaking the steering wheel around like that. But I do kind of like it. It goes on 59 miles an hour. Swinging around. Um, design inside, detail inside, very nice, tidy. There's no doors or windows that open on this, however. We swing around. We can open cover, which puts the ramp out. You don't have to put the ramp out if you don't want to. And then we can unfold truck, which opens the door. So you can take forklifts and stuff up into there to put things in. It doesn't have straps inside, but once you reach stuff in there, it should all be. Well, it'll probably bounce around a little bit, but it should be okay. Like I say, you can if you want to put that away. And if you back up to, you know, if you've got a dock or a loading ramp or you've got something like that, you don't have to have the ramp down. It does have a rear trailer hitch as well. Very cool. That's the first one. The log one has, I mean, there's not much else to show you on the log one. It does. So. Straps in the back. I did go for the extra front axle on this one and the last one because the, more because there's enough weight that I'm carrying. I really do like this as a mod. It's, it's, a, it's like a bit of kit, this. And then there's the transporter one, which does have beacons on it. 
I can show the lights on the others, better. There's your lights. This one has beacons as well. Board. Uh, unfold truck. There you go, loading on. We do have straps, manual or I mean cab, and you've got lighting on the back there as well. So when you're loading and unloading stuff, you can have lighting on the back. It's not a particularly slow fold or unfold either, which is quite nice. Oh, that's a pretty cool mod pack, that. I like it. There we go. That's the um, AW362 rigged by Adams Kong. Next, we've got the John Deere. Interestingly enough, the Giants have announced the new map, uh, Silver Run, and then showed us some of the new John Deere stuff and the Volvo stuff on recent videos and things that have come out that we get. A skidder. One of the ones you're going to get in the in the pack is going to be a skidder. So the John Deere 9482. And it's by North Modding Company. 46.95 megabytes download. 10 slots on console. This has got a load of options for tires and stuff. But I just thought the tracked one looked brilliant. Now as far as this skidder goes, the grapple working, it actually worked really well. The only thing I did find, I know people talk about the log physics quite a lot, is as I was driving, the log was creeping that direction ever so slightly. But if you get it right in the middle, it should hit that plate and it shouldn't go any further. Unfortunately, mine was a little bit twisted and it was kind of going sideways, but really nice looking mod. Really crisp and detailed. The front plough does actually plough. You can allow create fields or plough fields you've got. So if you're doing forestry, you want to create a road or something while you're going, you absolutely can. So this you'll find under vehicles and forestry machines. 205 grand for the base model. Uh, slot count will come down. Just how it was? Yeah, 10. Come down to 1. 300 horsepower. So we can have Nokian, Mitis, Clark, Trax, Lizard, Back to Nokia under Nokia, we've got standard, twins, standard two, back to standard. Mitis, just like that. Clark tracks, we've got the GSG, TXSG, FXS, FXS and GSG, Terra 95, Terra 95 and GSG, back to GSG. Can't change the colour of the um the chains kind of on there. And then we've got the lizard with the tracks, which is my personal favourite, but I mean, like I say, it depends what you particularly like. I'm going to go back to one of those because of the options we've got. Capacity standard or 457.7 litres, that's the fuel tank, so if you want a bit more range on it. Main colour, black or green. Design colour, black or green. Rim colour, you've got a choice on those. If you've got the tracks on there, um, the rim colour doesn't change. That's why I wanted to come on here just to show you, and then you've got the silver one, which is quite light, or black if you're going to go full stealth which I suppose you'd want to go to that if you want to go stealth skidder. Very cool. So let's hop out. Let's hop in. Horn, lights, function of this uh, is, let's go to that one. We've got up and down on that. Uh, we've got, hang on, get this right, up and down on that. So we've got that function. And that function l1 r1 now at the moment it says grapple rotation locked so i can open and close it but i can't rotate it if i do grapple unlocked rotation free i can then rotate that grapple and open and close it which gives you a bit more option for grabbing your logs in the first place then under l1 and right stick up, uh, side to side we've got the plow section in the front so when it hits the floor on a field that will plow um, but if you allow crate fields, I'm going to show you very quickly with that. If I allow crate fields. Oh, it's already doing it. I've already got it too low. <gasps> no. <laughs> I've ploughed me concrete. Let's go around here a little bit. What did I do? There we go. So allow crate fields. You can plough as you go. At a fair speed, actually. Or just on a field that's already created. So if you turn the allow create fields off, limit to fields, it won't do it. But you can also use that for pushing logs and stuff if you want to. As far as the grapple goes, there's no doors or windows that open on this, I don't think. No. But we can change driving direction. Interior, you're sat slightly to the side. So you can see what's going on there and see what's going on there. We can change, change driving direction. So if you're doing your um, skidding, your log grabbing, 
you can sit around like that but you still obviously you can move your head around but so let's go back to there oh, it's just not work now <laughs> it's always the same as soon as you want to go and demonstrate something it all goes to pieces old Helena and her handcart uh, so let's open that up like that back up a little further come down I was, I was quite surprised actually, sometimes with these they can be an absolute nightmare. Uh, but this seemed to grab really quite well from the start. There you go, straight up into there. Now what I can do is rotate that a little bit to there. And if I lock the grapple, that now can't move anywhere. So even if that log does start to creep, it's going to creep into that back plate and then won't go anywhere. It won't quite well. I know it's a shorter log, it's not a full tree, but that works really well. I like it. It's very long. It's a, it's a big bit of kit. It really is. Very nice indeed. So there we go. Lights off on that. That's the John Deere 9482 by North Modding Company, which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. Now, I've gone for these versions of them. It's nice to see these make a return. We had these. They were special editions, weren't they, if I recall? On, was it 17? Probably had them on 19 as well. This is the Challenger Pack by Nico73 modding 42.83 megabytes download. I will tell you the slot counts now. 10, 10, 8 and 9. That means nothing to you at the moment, but it will do when we get into the store menu. So, we've got the MT800 series and the MT900 series. I have inadvertently opened the door on there without even realising I had opened the door. And then we've also got the uh, addition of the... It's a Python and Anaconda. I think so. <laughs> we'll have a look at them in just a second. But I do, there's some nice track options and there's a load of tyre options. I love the fact we've got a, a real nice knock-in option on twins as well. You don't always get many options like that for the, the twin wheels. I mean, you can use some of the base games. I'm not going to... That's not a sweeping statement. That's just... I'm just saying. I've also opened the door on that one somehow. Anyway, you find these under large tractors. Out on the end. So as I said with the slot counts, 10, 10, 8, 9. So you can have the standard version or you can have the Python. You can have standard version or the Anaconda. So I was right, Python and Anaconda. If you don't like the decals and stuff on those, you don't have to. Options on them, so both of the MT800s is the same and the same on the 900s. The options are exactly the same. Uh, so if we go with the standard, we'll go with that one. So tinted windows, yes or no. Beacons, none. Sorry, none. Left, right, both. Design one, appearance of beacons. You can go through the appearance. I went for the low profile beacons on design four your choice gps module on the roof yes or no only 500 not too expensive attaches this is on the front so you've got none or you've got front weight then engine setup you've got 492 horsepower 592 646 uh, then track setup you've got standard three meter so it's a more of a kind of worn tread old pattern and then you've got um new generation so the more 3d tracks on those also on a three meter option Two. and that's the same on this one i think the options for the engine are the same four nine two five nine two six four six yeah uh, and the options on all that same you just get the extra python decals and on the 900 e series we have got trelleborg Redstein, mitis nokian continental bkt michelin back to trelleborg again so we've got i'm going to read them all out but we've got these options on the trelleborg Redstein. Mitis, Nokian, Continental, BKT, Michelin, and then back to Trelleborg. Tinted windows, same options again, then we go through twin tinted windows, yes or no. Beacons, left, right, both. Appearance of beacons, again, we can go through the four options. Uh, GPS module, yes or no. Front weight, on or off. Engine setup, 536, 591, 646. That's right, yep. Uh, and then we've got license plate option, yes or no. So, let's hop in, start it up. I was going to put this on the back of the low loader, uh, or the um, transporter, but it's actually quite wide. <laughs> so... Ah, now that's interesting. So when you get out, that's why I didn't. 
when you get out it leaves the door open that's pretty cool that's a nice feature as soon as you get in it says that goes up door closes I was looking and thinking there's no door option there's no doors or windows on oh, like I say I went for the shorter beacons lighting they don't hang about getting up to speed I went for the more worn tracks rather than the 3D ones on this one don't know why say worn tracks the old sort of standard interior very nice And then move over to the Anaconda. Same thing again, the door was shut. Beacons, horn, lights. I was going to say, this doesn't have adjustments uh, for the, the, uh, the light stalks. They don't fold away. As you can see, the indicators on those as well. It is really very nice mods indeed by Nico73 modding the Challenger pack. That's it for the mods for today. Now, I can't say for definite we're not going to get any more mods from FarmCon. We did on Thursday when they did the first stream, but what I will say is this if you haven't been watching it, the new map Silver Run that's coming with the Platinum expansion in November, they did a, a, a walkthrough on some of the map on one of the streams this morning and there's a load of cool stuff we kind of know if you've watched the videos already that there's boat building the boat building requires lumber to the lumber mill then you take beams it looks like big beams to the boat yard to the boat construction it also requires textiles it also requires metal to complete the boat build there's other productions they haven't talked about they said there's other productions been added into that map but when you go up into the hills on that map it's a lot of forestry but there is arable as well there is um, a mine. And when I say mining, for everyone freaks out, goes, oh, we've got mining in-game. He did say on the video, the mine's closed down, but with a wheel loader, you collect iron ore. So there's going to be a production to take the iron ore to make your metal to take down to the boat building, which is cool. He then continued on and got to a secondary sawmill up on the mountainside and said that there's a mill pond he said a lake but a mill pond he said you can put your logs into there and transport them down river so i'm assuming you put them in the water and the logs will go down river to another collection point to be taken out but again they didn't go into any more detail than that the map silver run looks incredible the um, texturing looks great the the color palette used they've got new tree typing sequoias and they are massive when they went around the thing these huge sequoia trees um, so yeah, it, it, there'll be more information coming out over the next months anyway, but just as a kind of what they were talking about at FarmCon, it looks absolutely brilliant with some fantastic new features coming. So yeah, all very good. So that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And thanks for watching.